Three mariners stranded on an island in the Pacific Ocean were rescued earlier this month after they made a large, help, signal by laying out palm leaves on the beach. A scene right out of a movie. The men, all in their 40s, left Polawa Atoll, a tiny coral island that's part of the Federated States of Micronesia, on March 31st, traveling in a small, 20-foot skiff. Nearly a week later on April 6, a relative reported them missing. On April 9, U.S. military forces rescued the group from Piccolo Atoll, another tiny island in Micronesia about 1,000 miles north of Papua New Guinea and around 100 nautical miles from where the men set out. In a remarkable testament to their will to be found, the mariners spelled out, help, on the beach using palm leaves a crucial factor in their discovery. This act of ingenuity was pivotal in guiding rescue efforts directly to their location, Lt. Chelsea Garcia, the search and rescue mission coordinator at the time the men were found, said in a statement from the Coast Guard. A U.S. Navy P-8 Poseidon aircraft discovered the mariners. They dropped survival packages, while the Coast Guard cutter Oliver Henry was rerouted to Piccolo to rescue the men, whose boat had been damaged. A survival expert told Business Insider the men were smart to create a signal, but that there may be even more effective ways of doing so to indicate to others you're in distress. Kat Bigney, a survival consultant and instructor at the Boulder Outdoor Survival School, said that often the best way to get spotted by a rescue team is to start a fire, as a big smokestack can be spotted from miles away. And not just one fire, but ideally three. Three of anything is considered the universal signal of distress. Three fires, three blows in a whistle, three gunshots. Think of the original SOS call, the Morse code distress signal which consists of three dots, three dashes, and three dots. Bigney said it's most effective to build the three fires in a row, as the succession of smoke fumes will signal to anyone who can see them that you need help. You want to use anything that's going to cause a lot of smoke, to build the fire, she said, such as green vegetation or damp wood which produce more smoke because it burns at a lower temperature and results in incomplete combustion. Depending on the circumstances, it may be best to wait to light the fires until a plane or boat is visible to ensure you are ready when a rescue team is nearby, and so they do not miss you. Beyond fires, Bigney said it's ideal to create signals with contrast. So in the case of the men stranded on Piccolo Atoll, palm leaves against bright white sand may've created enough contrast to be seen easily from afar. It's also generally recommended to spell out SOS, rather than a message like, help, in part because the letters in SOS can also be read upside down. Now what they did, worked, Bigney said of the rescued men. So I think the take-home message is be creative and do something.